So yeah guys, today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a different video, it's gonna be a class setup video, believe it or not I've been requested to do this video for so long, so many times that you know I just I just had to do it, and, you know might as well just do it now, and uh, that way it's done forever, you know this is what I've been using for the past, I wanna say almost a year, so uh, I don't really change my classes that much, and uh, today I'm gonna show you all 10 classes that I usually use and uh, I'm gonna, you know, tell you why I use them and uh, which ones I use the most, obviously. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's just get right into it. The first class right here that you guys are watching right now, uh, it's obviously my DSR class. This is definitely the one that I do not use. I just don't use it, man. Like the DSR is gone. I'm sorry. You know, it was not my fault. It was Vondi's fault. You guys know that. It was it was just not my fault. Okay, so we're gonna go to the important stuff here. Okay. First, Ballista class, okay, we got Lightweight, because we want to move faster, right? We got Fast Hands and Toughness, so you can pick up weapons or put your tech down, you know, faster. That's why you use Fast Hands Toughness, so when you're aiming in and, you know, somebody shoots at you, it's not a big deal. Tactical Mask, because everything, you know, stuns, flashes, shock charges, can be a little bit annoying if you don't use it. Uh, Semtex, I usually prefer the Semtex over the uh, other, you know, the Tomahawk. Or the frag grenade, I don't know, I just I just love the Semtex, dude, I'm really, really used to it. Tactical insertion, obviously, I guess, because I'm a sniper, I don't... Yeah, even if I wasn't a sniper, I'm pretty sure I would still use tactical insertion, because... Uh, believe it or not, it's pretty overpowered, because you can just put your tech wherever you are, and, uh, you know, whatever you, you choose to be, and it's pretty, pretty ridiculous, to be honest with you. So, the second one... This is gonna be like variations of the same class, obviously there's not much to uh, to change about, the perks are the same, but this one is my Ironside class, obviously exactly the same, you'll see me using this class, mostly on maps that I'm very very comfortable on, uh, Raid, Grind, Nuketown especially, not really standoff, but Nuketown, I always always use this class, or sometimes, you know, I just bring it up and uh, change it to the ACOG and use it like this, uh, it doesn't really, I don't really have a class for each one, I just have this one, which is either the ACOG or the Iron Sights at all times. I'm gonna go to the third one here, and you know, I've talked about this in a previous video. I really like the dual band, so I do have a special created class just for the dual band. Same perks, same everything, and now we're gonna go to the next one. This is uh, my normal XPR class, I don't really use this anymore just because... I stopped using the XPR when it comes to just playing normally, I just stopped using it. So I don't really use this class anymore, but it's exactly the same class setup. The only thing that changes is the actual weapon. Now when we move on to this next one and I I don't even want to talk about this one guys. It's I mean, you guys know that you guys have never seen a clip, right, of me using this class because the Yamada hit markers guys it's it's unreal but I have been very close to a quad headshot feed so hopefully you know it will happen soon enough uh, I do not have lightweight on this one so I can have three perks obviously uh, you can use other extended mags or, or fast hands not fast hands what was what, what it called uh, what is it what is it what is it a uh, fast mag I don't know why that was such a struggle but yeah, you can use a uh, fast mag as well. I usually prefer the extended, but it's honestly up to you. You need to take, you know, lightweight and Semtex off. You need to take two things off so you can put uh, both the wild card and the extra uh, attachments. I'm gonna move on to the next one, and this one, it's my sprint class. It's the one that I use, you know, to rush on raid, to rush on grind, to rush on studio, whatever it might be. This is my rush class. And uh, right now it's with the XPR, I don't, I sometimes vary in this, can be either, you know, XPR, Ballista or DSR, uh, fuck the SVU, okay, it can be one of those three, uh, right now it's, you know, it's with the uh, XPR and, and another thing that I was almost forgetting is that sometimes I get rid of the CPU and I go with an FMJ because, you know, especially on Raid, it's a wall bang, you know, and there is, uh, you know, FMJ would actually be useful if you want to hit a triple, Maybe a quad if you're lucky enough. I'm not lucky enough, so I don't I don't really know what to say about that. Moving on, what do we have next? Ooh, okay. So uh, I guess this, uh, as I said, I'm using these classes for over a year ago. So you, as you can see, this is not an insta swap class. It's just a double, uh, double weapon class. Although nowadays, you know, you would definitely call this 
an insta swap class where you know you have a Samtex, you have uh, both in the primary and the secondary slot a sniper. It can be whatever snipers you want. I usually prefer to use it like this. You know, uh, I use flag checker on this one. I don't really know why. You know, I sometimes prefer flag checker, but I think I'm gonna keep it to the lightweight. I really like uh, being able to move faster, fast hands because you want to change weapons faster. Obviously, tactical mask always, always a must. And the rest of it is basically the same. And now these two classes at the end are my, I would say, FFA classes, right? So number one, right here, uh, we don't use fast uh, hands on this one, as you can completely see in the perks. Perk number two, there's no fast hands. Uh, there's no really need to, you know, especially since I don't have a tactical and I don't really pick up weapons a lot on FFA. There's no really use to. Uh, I do use dexterity though, I I don't know why, it's just the way it is man, it's just the way it is, there's no obvious reason, but yeah, I do prefer using fast mags, as you can see on my ballista, I use fast mags on FFA, just prefer, uh, you know, it's just a uh, personal preference, I don't know why was that so hard to say, but, uh, and I, I play like a scumbag when it comes to FFA, so of course, I have the beautiful tech 45 as my secondary weapon, so I can, uh, you know, whip out the pistol and just kill everybody. And my final one, right now, it's my, my trick shotting class. And, you know, I, I'm not good at trick shotting, so mm, this is it. You know, I don't, I don't know really that much about trick shotting classes, but I heard that, you know, dexterity is something that you should use at all times. So I'm using it. Fast hands, lightweight, so you don't get any fall damage. Both, you know, primary weapons and uh, just insta swapping for days, man, with it. And uh, this is indeed my official, you know, 10 classes that I use. On Black Ops 2, once again, you know, just the DSR one, nobody uses. Three with a Ballista with different attachments. One with the XPR, one weird XPR. The Rush class, my Insta Swap, I guess you could say. Double Weapon, whatever you want to call it. And my two FFA classes. That is it, guys. And, uh, you know, I hope that uh, now that I finally made a uh, class set of video, you guys could stop requesting, because... Uh, I don't know why this is so requested, it's really nothing special about it, but it was so, so requested that I had to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, my name is Macau, and I'll see you guys on the next one.